Sunday, also what we call Passion Sunday, our special holy time. But I can say like holy is the most holy time because we are beginning Holy Week. Unusual, never was happened like this without congregation, but spirituality we are together, together serving this Mass, beginning by blessing our palms traditionally with the sign that it's time that Jesus is entering to holy city, to Jerusalem, and uh, people use these palms. These palms, what we bless on the beginning of this Mass, you can bring to your home during a Sunday from the grotto, what we announced before. And now we are beginning the celebration, offer our prayer for our people, for everybody who are joining spirituality to our celebration, our prayer. In a special way we pray during this Mass for Charlie Haas of his intention for this Mass. And we ask God for special caring, special blessing to each of us, especially some of us who feel like maybe sometimes a bit lonely and need some comfort. We, spiritually, we are together. Now we are beginning the celebration by blessing this palm. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus and the disciples drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass tethered and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, The Master has need of them. Then he will send them at once. This happened so that what had been spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to daughter Zion, Behold, your king comes to you, meek and riding on an ass, and on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the colt and laid their cloaks over them, and he sat upon them. The very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and strewed them on the road. The crowds preceding him and those following kept crying out and saying, Hosanna, 
to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken and asked, Who is this? And the crowds replied, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear, that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I give my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pluck my beard. My face I did not shield from moments and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my place like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. 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 The responsorial song, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me scoff at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Indeed, many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers close in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count on my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divided my garments among them, and for my vestures they cast lots. But you, O oh Lord, be not far from me. O oh, my help, hasten to my aid. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. My God, my God. Reading from the second letter of Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, putting obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. That is the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bend of those in heaven and on the earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thank you, thank you God. God. Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. One of 
of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen. I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and giving it to his disciples, said, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed on behalf of many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, from now on I shall not drink this fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it with you new in the kingdom of my Father. Then after singing the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, this night, all of you will have your faith in me shaken, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him in reply, Though all may have their faith in you shaken, mine never will be. Jesus said to him, Amen. I say to you, this very night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I should have to die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples spoke likewise. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. And he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray, that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Withdrawing a second time, he prayed again, my father, if it is not possible that this cup pass without my drinking it, your will be done. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open. He left them and withdrew again and prayed a third time, saying the same thing again. Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, 
Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand when the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. Look, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived accompanied by a large crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests and the elders of the people. His betrayer had arranged a sign with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one arrest him. Immediately he went over to Jesus and said, Hail, Rabbi. And he kissed him. Jesus answered him, Friend, do what you have come for. And stepping forward, they laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. And behold, one of those who accompanied Jesus put his hand to the sword, drew it, and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his ear. Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its sheath, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot call upon my father, and he will not provide me at this moment with more than twelve legions of angels? But then how would the scriptures be fulfilled, which say that it must come to pass in this way? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out as against the robber, with swords and clubs to seize me? Day after day I sat teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me. But all oh, this has come to pass, that the writings of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. Those who had arrested Jesus led him away to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the high priest's courtyard, and going inside, he sat down with the servants to see the outcome come. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. Finally, two came forward and stated, This man said, I can destroy the temple of God and with three days rebuild it. The high priest rose and addressed him. Have you no answer? What are these men testifying against you? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I order you to tell us under oath before the living God whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him in reply, You have said so. But I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He has blasphemed. What further need have we of witnesses? You have heard now the blasphemy. What is your opinion? They said in reply, He deserves to die. Then they spat in his face and struck him, while some slapped him, saying, Prophesy for us, Christ, who is it that struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, You too were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it in front of everyone, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. As he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This man was with Jesus the Nazarene. Again he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little later, the bystanders came over and said to Peter, Surely you too are one of them. Even your speech gives you away. At that he began to curse and swear, I do not know the man. And immediately a cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the words that Jesus had spoken. Before the cock crows, he will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep bitterly. When it was morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, his betrayer, seeing that Jesus had been condemned, 
deeply regretted what he had done, he returned the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned and betraying innocent blood. They said, What is that to us? Look to it yourself. Flinging the money into the temple, he departed and went off and hanged himself. The chief priests gathered up the money, but said, It is unlawful to deposit this in the treasury, for it is the price of blood. After consultation, they used it to buy the potter's field as a burial place for foreigners. That is why the field even today is called the field of blood. Then was fulfilled what had been said through, the, through Jeremiah the prophet. And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the value of a man with a price on his head, a price set by some of the Israelites, and they paid it out for the potter's field, just as the Lord had commanded me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, Pontius Pilate, and he questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, you say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they are testifying against you? But he did not answer him one word, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, the governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner who, whom they wished. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, Which one do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had handed him over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife sent him a message, Have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas, but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, Which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus, called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. But he said, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out, instead he took water and washed his hands and decided the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, His blood is upon us and upon our children. And he released Barabbas to them. But after he had Jesus scourged, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and let him off to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed in his service to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. After that, after they had crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there, and they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself, if you are the Son of God, and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, He saved others, but he cannot save himself. 
So he is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. The revolutionaries who were crucified with him also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, This one is calling for Elijah. Immediately one of them ran to get a sponge. He soaked it in wine and putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink. But the rest said, Wait. Let us see if Elijah comes to save him. But Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earthquake, rocks were split, tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming forth from their tombs after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to men. The centurion and the men who, with him who were keeping watch over Jesus feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening. And they said, Truly, this was the Son of God. There were many women there, looking on from a distance, who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him. Among them were Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea, named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus, and Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. But Mary Magdalene and the other Mary remained sitting there facing the tomb. The next day, the one following the day of preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember that this imposter, while still alive, said, After three days I will be raised up. Give orders, then, that the grave be secured until the third day, lest his disciples come and steal him and say to the people, He has been raised from the dead. This last imposter, will be the worst than the first. Pilate said to them, The guard is yours. Go, secure it as best you can. So they went ahead and secured the tomb by fixing a seal to the stone and setting the guard. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, what I said from the beginning, and I feel everybody's saying, this is never happened like that situation that after this passion is like totally quiet because church is so like empty. But also what I said, we are together. Maybe this way we are feeling our relationship our contact, spirituality, that we are together. We would 
really hard to have imagined that as we enter Holy Week, so many people right across the globe are affected by this coronavirus emergency. We are with people who are really touching. We pray for them. We know that many regions and whole nations locked down or with serious restrictions. And these restrictions due to the coronavirus will prevent us from assembling for Passion Sunday and Holy Week celebration. But we can still remember what Passion Sunday signifies to us. God's presence in the world is far greater than we could ever imagine. His power is deeper than we could ever achieve ourselves. From His passion, Jesus' proclamation is that when He is lifted up, He would draw all people to Himself. The suffering of our Lord was necessary for all people. Christianity is not just a belief system for a select group of people. All people are saved by Jesus Christ, even good people searching for God who have not received the grace to become Christian. By dying on the cross, Jesus re-established mankind's ability to be united to God. Jesus' death gives all people spiritual life. This is what we mean when we use the term redemptive suffering. In the mystery of the redemptive suffering of the Lord, we participate in the cross of Christ. But the only way we can do this is by living the life of Christ. That is why we are called Christians. We make Christ real in the world. Our living his life includes our embracing his sacrifice. Brothers and sisters, we unite our pains and sorrows to the Lord as our part in making the presence of the suffering Savior real in the world. I wish I could tell you that pain does not exist and that you can make it go away with your mind. But the situation in the world around us, the pandemic that is the coronavirus, has certainly reminded us of our human condition. Suffering is part of our lives. One of the great beauties of our faith is that there is value in every aspect of Christian's life, even those aspects of life that are full of pain. Therefore, we give it all to the Lord. We give Him our joy and our pain. If our health is poor or failing, if our lives are not going as we hope, whatever pain we have, we give it to Him. We unite everything to the cross so others can experience the sacrificial love of Jesus in our lives. Brothers and sisters, we focus on the cross today and throughout this Holy Week. We unite our pains to Jesus' pains and we receive his healing through his cross. We bring his healing to others by allowing them to experience the power of the cross at work in our lives. We are called to participate in redemptive suffering. Brothers and sisters, 
by entering Jerusalem in such a way, sitting on a ridiculous donkey and accompanied by the poor and the lowly, Jesus is making a definitive statement about what kind of Messiah he is. He, this Sunday, Palm Sunday, he came to Jerusalem with Hosanna, but we know that finally he took cross, he gave he gave his life. He is stating that he is a Messiah for the humble and the destitute, the disadvantaged and the outcast, the sick and the lame. He is stating that he has come to liberate the oppressed, to comfort the broken heart and to heal the sick. He is a Messiah who comes to save what was lost, to reconcile the sinner and to lead his people into the ways of peace. He comes not to rule, but to serve. He comes not for glory, but for salvation. He comes for our salvation. But remember what is a special message from today's and this coming time, especially Good Friday, that our salvation is going through the cross, Jesus' cross, and our cross too. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our Savior was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Almighty Father loves us, and He, in His love, can receive our petitions that we would like to send to Him. For the Church, as we begin our solemn remembrance of the events of our salvation, may God grant us a spirit of humility and devotion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the repentance and conversion of all hearts that have turned away from the Lord, and for the salvation of the world, let us pray to the Lord. For the Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with their faith, by God's grace, may they be renewed in faith and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all who will be reborn in the waters of baptism this coming Easter, may Christ's renewed power change their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in the fullness of eternal life in the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are suffering with the coronavirus, for those who are first responders, for those
those who are in the medical profession and researchers. May God help them and all those who are living in this day-to-day tragedy. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 hear our prayer. Our Father, before we ask in you our petitions, you know what is good for us. And please give us your blessing and any gifts which we really need according to your holy will, where it is through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, Yet by the sacrifice that made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins, and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in high heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore. These gifts we pray by sending down your spirit of them like the disposal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Then 
ministry of faith. We proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially remember Charlie Haas, for whom we pray at this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, but with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Father, if this choice cannot pass without my drinking it, your will be done. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this way we are celebrating together Passion Sunday, Palm Sunday, the first and Passion Sunday as the second part. And we saw the blessed these palms, what we are bringing them outside in the ground of autumn that you can come and take during a Sunday all day. Uh, we will hold them in this place and for sure remember that separately and take this to home. I hope also pray in our peace garden a little bit. This place looks like nice weather will come. And uh, our other request, what I did before, uh, at least last Sunday during our announcement, again, please feel that we are together, that we pray for each other. What was my request? That pray, if possible, special time, build this prayer chain uh, every day between four, between three and four p.m. and pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet, Rosary, the Station of the Cross, and then some litany other prayers that we feel that we are together, spiritually that we are together. Also, check permanently our website, parish website, because we try to put some current information on what we want to do. And uh, for sure, check this website, watching our Mass, because we would like to serve Holy Week, this Holy Thursday Week Mass, Station of the Cross on Friday, also Passions um, service on Good Friday, Saturday evening this vigil service and uh, Sunday uh, morning sunrise mass. I hope that you will join spirituality for this. And also I am sending letter to each family with some information what we announced and especially that you can uh, find another website uh, that you want to watch some uh, masses or some reflection, uh, listening to some reflection, reflection, that you, you will do this. And uh, for this information, I hope it will be like, easier to contact to each other. Uh, also, I said that you might this letter. Anytime you can call to our office, I check regularly our voicemail on our phone and you, you can send by email some information, questioning. But it's really good if you need some help or if you want to help, give contact and we will help to each other because lots of people offer help and nobody ask about uh, the need to help what is good but for sure we are ready to, to help to each other remember this and also again I would like to say thanks for your support uh, financial support what people give regular collection by online, online giving and uh, every day we receive Enveloped by mail and other uh, uh, other way like put to, uh, to our office on Mon Monday, a couple of hours our office is open. We have a chance. We talk also by phone, but it's wonderful. Remember this and pray for each other because you know this information that until maker close uh, each church close is and so we just stay like this spirituality and connect. Wonderful service this mass with our deacons and deacon Jay and deacon George and also we wish to be with you spirituality by our prayer that we also give you a special blessing ending for this mass and remember Sunday all day palms are on the altar in the ground. The Lord be with you and be with, with your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look we pray O Lord on this your family for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked, who submit the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, may Almighty God bless each of you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
Thanks be to God. Try.